Peter Saad from Director of Health Services, Planning and Development, Ministry of Health. John Mark Winfield, USA Deputy Mission Director from National Drug Authorities, Apollo Mojiva, Ex Executive Secretary Register. I'm glad to see that Moses Kamabara from the General Medical Store National Medical Store General Manager also have found time to come. I'm glad to see Becky Copeland, who always stand by us at all situations. And I'm so pleased that all the districts, from those who have now signed the nine districts, have been here. And I appreciate that we have been able to sign MOH, MO, MOUs. It's not always easy to do that. I welcome everybody who have taken the time, ladies and gentlemen. The U.S. Agency for International Development, USAID, established the SURE program securing Ugandans' rights to essential medicines as a support to the government of Uganda, as a support to the Ministry of Health, to improve access to essential medicines. Essential medicines and supplies are fundamental for quality of health care. It's like water to a human being. We can't provide health care, make sure our people are treated well without medicines. So all health programs that are existing here in Uganda are influenced and are partners with us. The SURE program is a five-year program. It's ending in 2014 and has a budget of 80, no, 38 million US dollars. That's more than one US dollar per capita. The program will be implemented by Management Sciences for Health, which is a not-for-profit American-based organization in collaboration with EuroHealth Group, a Danish group, Fuel Group, pharmaceutical healthcare distributors, and your own Makarera University. To achieve the program aims or the goals of improving access to good quality medicines and supplies really requires extraordinary participation, coordination, and collaboration. And it requires that we work together with all the stakeholders, and there are many. When you look at the pharmaceutical sector here in Uganda, we have very many stakeholders that we have to work with. Some of them you already been presented to the national medical stores as events. The US government, World Bank, Chai has been here today, is here today, the Belgium Technical Collaboration, DFID, you name it, all the implementing partners and their programs. And that is a challenge. But it's also what makes us able to succeed. We will collaborate with all stakeholders to build capacity and improve efficiency and effectiveness in supply chain management at all levels. We will build on experiences that has been gained here in Uganda over the past many years. There has been a number of programs to support the pharmaceutical sector, recognizing the importance of medicines. These programs are programs such as Deliver, Strengthen Pharmaceutical System, Supply Chain Management Systems, and Anita. We will build on that experience, but we will also draw in international experience from WHO, Joseph is here today also, and from MSH. This will really make the foundation for a strong program that we are going to build. To understand the complexity and the context of the situation of pharmaceuticals here in Uganda, the SURE program as one of our first activities undertook a policy option analysis. The word policy option analysis means we did an analysis where we look at cost effectiveness and policies that was required to be changed or addressed to make the best out of the present situation and move towards a new, stronger supply chain. We looked at all the different levels of the supply chain from quantification, funding, procurement, storage, distrib distribution, and a number of key findings came out of the workshop. I would like to mention two of them. 
the first one being that we identified a considerable gap in the funding of essential medicines and health supply. We only have about half of the funding needed and that is a gap that is really visible. It's, it's actually requiring, if we want to cover the gap, we need one US dollar more per capita. So what can we really do to address that gap? Well, the SURE program does not provide any money for procurement of medicines or supplies. We work with strengthening the supply system, we work with capacity building and a lot of other things, but we do not procure uh, medicines and we do not um, provide funding for it. Therefore, what we can do is that when something is limited, like funds in this case, we can at least set up systems so that we know how much we spend, how we spend it, and how much is the gap, because the gap might change over time. So when you have limited funds, at least you need to know what you have and how you spend it. So together with the Ministry of Health, the pharmacy division, we are developing a tracking system. And as we talk now, one international expert has started his journey towards uh, Uganda to assist us in this endeavor. Another key issue is that over the past years, a lot of funding and resources from Global Fund, PEPFAR, and other donors have been provided for three specific diseases, namely HIV, AIDS, tuberculosis, and malaria. These are very important diseases to treat and to address. However, they have taken priority to a lot of our ordinary, more uh, used drugs like essential medicines and supplies. This has meant that parallel supply systems have mushroomed and almost out of control. The extent where one facility at the same day can have two drugs coming, delivering the exact same drug, and that we cannot afford. We are not a country where if the car breaks down, you just buy a new. Time has come to repair. We need to repair, and to make sure we do the repair well, we need to work together. I'm pleased to announce that the SURE program, together with the Ministry of Health, the National Medical Stores, the Joint Medical Stores, the Drug Authorities, and many other key stakeholders already have taken the first steps to make the supply system more efficient and effective. As we talk, more than 300 health workers have been trained or are in process of being trained in how to report and order HIV AIDS medicine better than they do today. In the next three to five years, we are looking at a Uganda that is changing. We are looking at a Uganda where we see increased availability of good quality essential medicines and health supply. How are we going to achieve that? Well, we will see it through improved information system. As managers, we need information, and one of the things that SURE will in ensure is that we have more man management information at all levels. We will improve control of medicines. The NDA will be supported in trying to reduce substandard drugs and even counterfeit drugs. We'll have better medicines management from the national medical stores and all the way down to the lowest facility level. And on top of that, we will work towards improving appropriate medicines use. An important step in that has been taken by the development of the Uganda National Medicines Therapeutic Committee, which is going to be signed by the Ministry of Health with appointment of the uh, nominees for the uh, group. Most important is the district work for the su success. There we will, through in-service training, build capacity. We'll have supervisors working at the ministry, uh, at the district level and health sub-district level, and we'll support them in all ways needed to make their work successful. They will train and build capacity, but they will also undertake performance, monitoring all the steps. We will streamline and harmonize as much as possible and simplify the systems. And most importantly, through a teamwork with all our partners, we shall develop a stronger and much more effective and improved healthcare system in Uganda. 
It is at this point in time that I say, no healthcare without medicines. No medicines without money. No healthy Ugandans without commitment, will, and teamwork. Time has come for an integrated and coordinated restructuring of the pharmaceutical sector as a whole. And this is possible, but only through collaboration. The restructuring must take into account the insufficient funding we have to the sector, but also looking at the weaknesses in the present organizational structures. I state once again, the full support and commitment the SURE program has to the Ministry of Health and to the government of Uganda and to the people of Uganda to ensure that all Ugandans have better access to essential medicines and health supplies in the public health facilities. At this time, I would like to all to focus your attention on the SURE uh, program commitment banner, which is below me. And I would like you all to show, as Moses have also sa said, your symbolic commitment to our mission by signing this banner before you leave today. The banner will, with your signature on it, symbolize the teamwork, the coordination that is needed and resolve we all shall in accomplishing this important mission. Thank you for your attention.